What's up, family? One of the most prominent Black-owned entertainment companies in the world, Quality Control, has been sold to an Asian company called Hive for reportedly $320 million. Obviously, the owners are happy on both sides, but others, not so happy. There are many people who are congratulating P and Coach K for the sale of their company. But many other people believe that they sold out. What say you, fam? Did the founders of Quality Control, CEO Pierre P. Thomas, and COO Kevin Coach K. Lee sell out? My thoughts. Okay, elephant in the room is, wow. Another black company builds itself up into a multi-million dollar respected entity. And then they sell it to non-black individuals. And once again, we lose control of something valuable we created. Fam, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. When I saw that headline, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all because I had those same thoughts. It is my opinion, fam. I know everybody gonna do what they wanna do. You know, if you get a chance to get $300 million, you ain't never had that kind of money before. You know, most people gonna take that money. You know, it's business is business. That's how people think. Business is business, man. I gotta take the money. That's what Robert Johnson did with BET. He took the money, you know. Like, and he gave up the control, he took the money. So I get it, I get it. This is one of those situations where it just depends on where you are as a person, I think, where you are in life. Where I am in life right now, fam, is I'm all about ownership and control. See, the way I operate is we are never going to be in control of our own destiny if we don't control the industries that we give our money to. If all we are are consumers, then we're never going to be in control of our own destiny. The owner of Hybe said it symbolizes connection, expansion, and relationships. Think about that, fam. Those are some very powerful words. And if used in the right manner, fam, you can control the narrative. So whatever you think about the artists who are under quality control at the moment, that includes Lil Baby, City Girls, Lil Yachty, who else? Migos and, and several others who are really part of pop culture right now. These guys, they have a lot of power. And so whatever you think about their music or whatever you, they're saying, they still control the narrative. So if you want to control the narrative, do you want to have it? put in somebody else's hands or would you like to keep it in the hands of your own and work toward you know changing that narrative the way you want to see it or at least directing that narrative where you want it to go I just look at it like you can only spend so much money you know when you get to a certain level of getting that money you can only spend so much money. And if you get enough and you got the control with it, you grow with the money. You know, you continue to grow with the money. You continue to have control with the money. And if you want to sell, sell to somebody who look like you, like they're going to do. That's what they do. Remember when Bill Cosby wanted to buy NBC? They didn't mind selling it. 
They just was not going to sell it to a black man. Why? Because they wanted to control the narrative. They didn't want black people to be in control of the narrative, their own image, or even other people's image, you know? So, you know, I know at the end of the day, fam, it ain't my money, you know? I don't have to deal with the, the, the stresses of talking to artists and all of the drama that come with that. Quality Control just lost one of their biggest artists uh, to murder. They got other issues. Gucci Man is suing them. Uh, and Lord knows what else is going on. But it's still a very, very valuable company, obviously, because of the ability for them to attract such a wealthy business to acquire their company. You know, <sighs> this is one of those things, fam, I think it just boils down, like I said it originally, it's like, it boils down to, you know, doing what makes you sleep well, you know? I'm just at a point in my life where I'm about to power in the control. I'm about to control in the narrative. That's why I won't give up this channel. You know, I have had several people try to buy Willie D Live for me. It's not for sale. Because what I do on this channel, being able to be a voice, to offer a voice to the voiceless, being able to counter the stuff that ABC, CNN, Fox, and all the rest of them put out, all of that, you know, that WS stuff they be putting out there, you know, that's more powerful than the money. Because you can have all that money, fam, and still go out there and get your head knocked off. You can have all that money and your people still be suffering. You can always pay exceptional talent, top dollar, to come in and help you take your company to the next level. Hell, when you're making millions of dollars, you can actually steal them from other companies. And here's one last thing I want to leave y'all with. Think about this, fam. If they were willing to pay quality control $300 million, imagine what the company is really worth. No more talk.